Okay, Coach, you're in the beginning of your spring season here. Just recently came back from a spring trip and actually competed in your first event. Can you just talk a little bit about, you know, how the spring trip went overall and what are the kind of things you're looking to get out of a trip like that for your team? Okay, well, first of all, the uh, spring trip this year, the uh, the guys actually talked me into going down to Florida again. And uh, anytime you go to Florida, you, you have to fly because of the travel requirements uh, um, as, as far as trying to get to Florida anyway. Uh, but anyway, the, the probably the biggest key about going to Florida this year, and as opposed to Pinehurst the last couple of years, and I, I kind of tracked it all week long, is that we had a 30 degree temperature change. Uh, it was 30 degrees warmer there than it was in, in uh, Pinehurst. And we went just, uh, we went to World Woods, which is uh, where I've been going throughout the years for many, many years. A great complex down there, 36 holes. They have a nine hole short course, a three hole practice course, a 360 degree driving range, and, and a one acre putting green. I mean, it's ac absolutely the best place to. Uh, take a college team. In fact, there were several college teams down there that same week with us. So it gets a little busy down there at times, but uh, this time of year, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the nature of the beast in Florida. Um, I have one more thing about the weather, and it was somewhat unusual, is that uh, this last weekend we did have Grand Valley at, at the uh, spring invite down in Kentucky. And uh, Don, the coach there, was telling me that the six days that they spent in Pinehurst, the same time we were in Florida, they were able to play one day. Um, we were able to, of the uh, six days that we were able to uh, get on the course down there, uh, we got rained out once and completely washed out that, that particular day. They shut down the courses. They'd gotten so much rain. But we, we successfully were able to play in most of the time, short sleeve type weather. So it was... Uh, Absolutely a, a, a great move on our part this year to do that sort of thing, get to Florida instead of Pinehurst. But uh, most of what we try to accomplish during that week is really getting the guys back into getting the clubs in their hands on grass. You know, we hit the ball. Uh, we've been hitting the ball in the arena here since January and, and putting on carpet. Uh, it's not quite the same as getting out on the, on the real grass stuff. Um, so it really was a 8.30 in the morning until dark every day where we were there. We were either playing uh, 18 holes. Prior to playing 18 holes each day, we were practicing. Um, and then after the round, we'd, we'd get back into another practice. So we, we literally spent about uh, 9 to 10 hours each day uh, on, on the golf course there. So overall, for a spring trip, absolutely uh, a, a good trip for us. Didn't quite prove out to be all that spectacular for us with this last uh, or this first tournament this weekend, but uh, anyway, good trip. Okay, you mentioned made note of that tournament. You recently hosted a tournament not in Bay City here uh, at the Country Club, but in Kentucky. Team started off after the first day, seventh place, and made a second day push. Moved up a couple spots. Can you just give her, give us an overall assessment of the spring invite down in Kentucky? Yeah, well, one of the reasons why we go to Kentucky is the weather. And uh, we, we got fortunate. In fact, the best day we had down there last Friday, it was uh, 65 degrees, and then it was in the low 50s on Saturday and then the low 40s on Sunday. Good thing is there's no precipitation, so we were able to uh, play the tournament uh, really. And, and even though it might have been 40 degrees when you're playing and walking, the only thing you need to worry about doing is keeping your hands warm, and, and that was pretty easy to do that day. Uh, it really, the wind was a little bit kicked up, but not 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 enough to make it a uh, miserable day. Uh, that was on Sunday, and that was the day that uh, we'd basically made our move. Um, first round Saturday, we shot a 314, and just to give you some simple math here as to how, why we went from 314 to 310, uh, it really boils down to one guy. Uh, not to blame, uh, not to blame our finish on him, but uh, to do the math, it was pretty simple. Wyatt Drost, our number one man who won the uh, conference championship last fall, extremely good player. Wyatt had a bad day on Saturday, shot 81. Actually had 37 putts that day. And uh, anytime you're over 30 putts, it's not, not a good day of putting. So anyway, he shoots 81. Next day, Wyatt comes back, shoots 70. 
uh, 11-shot turnaround, and actually it ended up being a 10-shot turnaround for the team. So one guy right there has basically the, the, the move for uh, our, our uh, uh, reason for the finish from seventh back up to a, at least a fifth-place spot. Uh, another piece of math that goes along with that, Wyatt, uh, uh, Wyatt had 27 putts. So, again, uh, you know, you've heard me say many, many times through the years, if you can't putt, you can't play. Here's a classic example of a guy improving his game from one day to the next by 10 putts and consequently ends up being an 11-stroke difference in, in his score. Um, other than that, we've got guys that are uh, shooting the 78s and 77s and 79s, which, which is okay for the first tournament. Unfortunately, uh, uh, we got to come to an end of that. These guys got to get it back around 75 or better. And uh, the, the other part, too, here is, is that Wyatt has to keep playing that well for us. All right, Coach. Uh, thanks for the time, and good luck this weekend down in Indiana. Thank you.